Hey everybody and welcome back to my Sims 3 Let's Play. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and we just missed Cleopatra aging up into an elder, and I don't know how much longer she'll live after she's uh, an elder. Let's see. Um, she's 85 days. I have a lifespan set to normal, which I think is 90 days. So we have her for at least five more, but we'll see how long she lasts after that. Um, we have quite a bit of uh, progress in our money making. In fact, if you look at Raquel, she has a wish to... Let's see, where is it? Somebody has the wish to be worth a million. Hold on, maybe it's him. Okay, I thought Raquel had it. We're not worth it yet, are we? We can't be. I thought she had a wish to be worth a million simoleons, and I don't think I canceled out of it. Hold on, let's see. I think if we go into buy mode, uh, that only tells us what the lot is worth. Well, if the lot's worth 426, oh, maybe we did get it. Oh, we might be worth a million simoleons right now. Let's see. If we were to try to move. Oh, I think I know what set us over because, um, okay, this is what's going on. When you get the Tiberium and you cut it, you can also put the gem, the dust out. And so I put the dust out. So we had these two that were not from dust. And then these six are from dust. And you can see they're worth uh, 30 to 40,000 simoleons each. So let's go ahead and sell those real quick and we'll be, we'll know for sure how much money we have. Let's see. I think that's what did it because when these all uh, became worth money, she got her wish to be worth a million simoleons. Alright, so yeah, we are definitely over a million simoleons. So we have reached our goal. I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty surprised and I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier and actually I'm sort of glad I didn't think of it earlier. Uh, it would have made the challenge way too easy to get to a million um, or the 200,000 uh, if we would have done this. In fact, I'm going to take these away from them and not let them do it anymore because I don't want to keep making money that way. Uh, the rest of this Let's Play is not going to necessarily be about money and I don't know how long I'm going to keep going with it. I uh, definitely want to bring Janie back from the dead. Um, even if I don't do anything else, oh, let's see, where do we want to put that? Even if I don't do anything else in the Let's Play, I do want to <laughs> bring poor Janie back from the dead. I have been having um, Raquel work on her witchcraft, and um, we planted this money tree ages ago, and it still hasn't uh, grown into an actual tree. How many days have I played? I've played, I've only played, I think, four or five days. Um, but like I said, when we did the dust for those, because I had totally forgotten that you could do the dust, and she had six things of dust from the, uh, Tiberium, and then I was like, oh, wait, I think I saw on a Let's Play that somebody had planted, uh, I mean, put out even the dust, and it grew back into, uh, the dust from being cut, and it grew back into, uh, spires when you put out just the dust, so... That is what put us over. I totally forgot about that. All right. Uh, we did. Okay. I had to, I had put, let me go, go back a minute. When she became a teenager, I hired Bonehilda again, but she keeps scaring her. And um, Elise, I'm probably going to have her move out. And so we'll try Bone Hilda again. So in the meantime, I had to hire the butler back, who, by the way, is a zombie when there's a full moon. <laughs> and, but he didn't try to eat my plants or anything, and he still did his job. He just did it really slowly. We did sell another car. Uh, I think that yesterday or the day before, we sold another car. I didn't put another one out because, I, again... Uh, the rest of the Let's Play, I'm not going to force them to be working so hard to make money. Uh, he was actually going to go buy out the rest of the hospital because we had invested in it. Oh, are you that hungry? Okay, well, you know what? Go eat first. Eat leftovers first. 
and then we'll have you. And we never did win the lottery again. I'm going to not have them play the lottery anymore because I'm tired of sending people over there. Um, all this time of going to the consignment store, I never did find a miner. <laughs> Which is one of the things I was uh, trying to find. Let's go back down to him. Uh, let's see, Elise. I mean, Raquel, what are you doing? She had a pool party. She told a couple of people's fortunes, but it was hard to do with so many people here because everybody kept wanting to sit in the other chair. So she had a hard time with that. Uh, this can backfire from what I've seen on other Let's Plays. Um, I haven't researched it yet, but evidently you can have a problem of giving yourself a bad fortune and it coming true. <laughs> uh, let's see. She's sleeping. He is getting ready to go to bed. Oh, she's going to tell him a bedtime story. All right, that's good. I've still been having her eat the live fruit. So she is... Whoops, let's click on her. She still has 21 days before she becomes an adult. So I've been having her eat at least one a day. I did put the cart out here in the yard so she can buy more live fruit if she needs to. Uh, the butler, he does not seem to be as good as Dave. He... Uh, won't fix these things when they break, and I'm pretty sure Dave was doing that. Oh, did she get more of a celebrity star? She's She needs to get to level 5 celebrity to reach her lifetime wish, because if you remember, her lifetime wish is wor be worth at least a million, a hundred thousand simoleons, which we got a long time ago, but she also needs to be celebrity star level 5, which is something I do need to work on. In fact, she has a thing to eat at the restaurant. Can we do that now? Can we do that now? If we can, we'll go over there. Yep. Oh, no, she can't. Uh, from 11 to 11. Alright, so we'll do that in the morning. That will give her some celebrity points. Cleopatra is a 4. He's a 4. She's a 4. She's a 3. And he's a 2. And that's really without me doing mu too much effort. Uh, what are you going to do? No, don't tell fortune right now. Let's go do a little bit of um, elixir making. She does have this wish to get to 10, and I've only had her make 6. Uh, let's see. I do need to actually go look these up and see what a lot of them do. The skill booster one would be good. I think with that one you uh, drink it and then go to sleep and you get a, a, I think it's a random point in some skill, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look at that. Oh, she's got the hunted thing because we had a vampire come to the party. Buy a cane? No, those things drive me crazy. <laughs> crazy er. Uh, if we go downstairs, let's see, let's check on the wine. I haven't looked at it, or the nectar. I haven't looked at it in ages. 582, 578. So they definitely are getting a little bit more each day. Um, when we moved, it lost track of who made them. So even the ones that Kirk had made, um, we don't know which ones they are, I'm pretty sure. Because his name's not on them anymore, unfortunately. So probably these really cheap ones. There are 56 now. Because they were getting two simoleons a day. So that's probably them. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, I didn't even mention that I did have her become a witch. I, did, I uh, was finally able to buy the potion at the... Um, consignment store and it was just under 2,000. I've decided that when Daniel ages up he's going to become a werewolf because I haven't obviously played a werewolf since I've only been playing this Let's Play for a couple of days. I mean this uh, expansion pack. And let's see... Um, I think that is it. Oh! Yeah, the, remember the cars that we were building? The Sims will uh, go woohoo in it without you even telling them to. And at first I thought I was imagining things, but no, I was not imagining things. They just randomly, if you leave them alone to their own devices, they just ran randomly will both go get in the car and they'll woohoo, which I thought was really funny. Uh, I'm just glad it wasn't Try for Baby. <laughs> you know, we still have this Medusa victim stuck in her inventory. 
<laughs> I can't give it to anybody or anything. It's really bad. Okay, are you playing with magic? Um, from what I understand, it does take quite a while to get a witch up to level 10. I'm not even sure which level she is. Well, I don't even know if there's a level 10. Because I think it's a hidden thing that you can't see. I'm pretty sure. Let me look and see. Yeah, there's not... Uh, you don't have a thing here where you can tell how far you are. I know she can do Fire Blast and um, Fire... Let's see, Icy Blast and Fire Blast. But I haven't had her do it to anybody yet. Oh, you know what? Is there a paparazzi outside? Okay, you know what? You're getting it. <laughs> Cast Spell Ice Blast. Let's see if we can do it to the paparazzi. They are good for something. <laughs> They're good for experimentation, that's about it. I do like having this fence here, though. It makes a huge difference, because otherwise they'd be standing right here and yelling and stomping their feet. Like that! It's so annoying. <laughs> Can you do it? Okay, go out here. Go here. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, she got some celebrity points, probably because the lady recognized her. Can you do it? <laughs> okay, so what did that do? Oh, does it freeze her? <laughs> Turned her into a thing of ice. <gasps> oh, I didn't know you could do that. Let's see. If I fire blast her, will it melt her? I don't know. Let me let me let her go to the bathroom and then we'll have her come back out here and check. <laughs> Uh. Uh, who is yelling? She's frozen. How could she be yelling still? Is there somebody outside, outside over here? No. She's still yelling even though she's... <laughs> Alright. Uh, come back out here. Go here. Let's see if we, if we do fire blast if that will melt her. That's pretty funny. She's just like frozen there. Yeah, you can hear her yelling. <laughs> okay, let's cast spell fire blast. I can't believe we made it to a million. Of course, it was Mostly. There you go. Alright. <laughs> That's funny. And then we can do charms. The only charm we know so far is good luck charm. Oh! <laughs> oh let's do the good luck charm on her. <laughs> let her let her be our guinea pig. Why not? <laughs> can we ask her to leave? <laughs> it doesn't say she's paparazzi, but I'm assuming that she is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, come over here and get something to eat. And then you can go to bed. Who is sleeping in my bed? Is it the... I gave the um, butler, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, I gave him a um, friendship elixir and now he wants to sleep in my bed all the time, which I guess is alright. I could lock the door, but then he wouldn't be able to clean in there. Okay, so she's gonna uh, do something... Oh, it's Daniel's birthday! She's gonna tell her own fortune. This might not be good, because evidently you can really hurt yourself. I might have to put this thing away. Oh, we can magically upgrade appliances. Okay, let's see. With great power comes great responsibility, or just a great need to show off your skills. Make life better for those around you by magically upgrading their appliances, or put those witchy wannabes in their place with spellcasting duel. I was thinking, actually, of having her become a witch, and they could do spellcasting duels with each other. The path to magical power is bumpy and sometimes dangerous one, but playing with magic and casting charms 
Curses and spells were worth the risk. Elisa started down the path to magical mastery by learning the good luck charm. She can also use the conversion ritual to magically change one collectible into another. Okay, so she got a ma magical powers. Um, I could send her to... Oh, it's almost time for school. We'll go and see if we can buy a, an elixir to turn her into a witch also. Like I said, um, I ended up turning him into a werewolf and I found the elixir in the shop already and bought it for him. So, Let's see. Dark storm clouds gather over the waters of your relationships. Uh-oh. <laughs> a relative's misfortune may be a windfall for you. That's not good. Maybe I should put this thing uh, in inventory <laughs> until we're ready to use it. Uh, they were gifted some laptops for being celebrities, so I put them out on the table, and I figured they'll use them. They have a computer already that they use, obviously. And I gave him, I did have him take a um, an elixir to make himself smaller. I had him go back to normal in the, um, in the, uh, whatever this thing's called, body shaper thing, and I made him go back to normal, and then he had a potion, and that made him look semi-normal if we look at him. So, he looks pretty good now, actually. He looks younger, I think. <laughs> Alright, so, Kirk, um, since you no longer have a car to work on, or, um, boards to break, his lifetime wish is to master handiness and logic. And I'm pretty sure he's already done handiness by a mile. Oh no, he hasn't. Um, and logic he hasn't even started working on. So we could work on those for him. How long until he ages up? Mm, he's got a while. I could just get him the books. He has a tab cast. Let's shop online for books. Or, you know what, never mind, because both of those had to have tab casts. So we'll do handiness. I don't know what else I want him to do if he's not really working on... I guess I could put out another car. It's not like he's got anything else going on. Um... Yeah, I guess I could. I mean, it is something he enjoys, and it'll bring up his handiness. Let's go good get him another car. I could have him go steal stuff. Oh, I need to get her a better broom. They have a, a broom for the witch that's like a, a vacuum cleaner and it goes really fast. So actually that's what I should get her. You have to get it with your lifetime happiness point. So I don't know if she has enough to get it. Let's look and see. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's uh, oh because she got her life. No, she didn't get her lifetime wish. Oh no, but she did have that wish to be worth a million, and that was worth like twenty thousand. Uh, let's see, what is that one? Flying vacuum. Okay, and what else do we have? I should get the legendary host one. If I don't see something else I like. Steel bladder would be good. So one that helps with witchcraft. That would be helpful. Hmm. Relic hunter. Hmm. Yeah, I could get her, because I do want her to go um, with her son to get some more wine bottles in France. I don't see anything else I necessarily want. My candy is good. That's a good one when you go to the different countries. Because you have to talk people into doing things. Change of taste. Hustler. Uh, should I get her steel bladder? Mm. Prepared traveler. I'll get her. Alright, that's good enough for now. How are you doing, old lady? I guess since she's so old, I could um, go ahead and... 
now that we have our million dollars I don't mind doing this but I'm gonna do the um, <laughs> what is it isn't there one? Oh, there's fireproof homestead would be good but she's gonna be dead soon I say that so nicely isn't there one that's inheritance whoops I should get that one that way the family can keep it yeah let's go ahead and get that one and then you still have some points left over we could get you something Oh, since you're old, we'll get you the steel bladder. How about that? He's got a lot of uh, lifetime reward points, too. Which I really, honestly, have not been paying too much attention to that. Oh, I have no idea what to get him. We'll, we'll just wait on that. How's she doing? She's doing pretty well. Okay, after school, do you have enough energy and stuff? Yeah, you can go research the science facility. He got all his butterflies. Um, the moth, it was funny, he couldn't find a moth. I even had Raquel go and dumpster dive to try and find a moth. We couldn't find a moth anywhere. And then Raquel, um, one of the things you could do as a witch is you can um, conjure apples and then turn them into things. So she conjured an apple and turned it into a moth. And so I gave the moth to him and he was able to turn in. Oh my gosh, why are you sleeping on the couch like that? <laughs> Um, she was, um, he was able to turn in the moth that she had conjured, which I thought was really funny. Come over here and go to sleep. So yeah, we're not having any special fondness with the, um, butler this time. I wanted to come over here and look and see if there are any mushrooms. Because sometimes they spawn over here while we wait for the lot to load. We should be getting uh, able to harvest a bunch soon. That's one of the reasons that uh, I probably will hold off on having them move to a different house because they have the garden. Although I'm sure if I do move objects, I can move them into. Yeah, we got thirty-one thousand for that. I could, I think, put them into pots, the plants into pots, and move them that way. All right. So you, uh, did you meet all your friends? No, not yet. Alright, so you don't really have too much else you need to do, Cleopatra. You can just hang around and do whatever. Do you want... I mean, she's one of the ones I've been having go over every day and uh, buy the um, lottery tickets, which I'm not going to do anymore. I mean, we've been buying lottery tickets for uh, five seasons and we haven't won. I mean, uh, we won 5,000 simoleons, so it's definitely not the sure way to win money. But it's so funny because I had a sim one time that I was um, playing, and the second day I was playing her, she won 50,000 simoleons. So it truly is luck of the draw. You just never know what you're going to get. All right, come over here and see if we can find an elixir for turning her into a witch. Uh-oh. Okay, relationship with Judy. That's fine. <laughs> Judy Bunch is who it's talking about. Oh, listen, it's Katy Perry. Um, let's see. It would be way at the bottom. Um, let's see. Personality adjuster. Personality roulette wheel. That would be fun. Potent discord. Dis uh, discord. It's so funny to hear Katy Perry singing a sim song. Invigorating elixir. You know. Oh, I need to give those to. Okay. Uh, discuss limits. Visit Lama Memorial Stadium to do that. Alright, go ahead and do that. Let's head back over to the house. 
Yeah, it was funny to hear uh, Katy Perry singing that. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, we did. Uh, Janie did come back out and haunt us. Oh, and it's funny because um, Elise, every time she sees the ghost, she faints. So she falls flat on the floor and faints. It's just really, really funny. So she's definitely a scaredy cat. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so that's why... Okay, so that's why Bone Hilda bothers her so much. Maybe we should have her get the elixir to change her traits. And then we could have Bone Hilda. Because <laughs> the coward thing definitely is why. Because er literally every time she sees Bone Hilda, she runs screaming. So, um, hmm, maybe I will have her do that. Or I could just send her back over. Or I could send him over. How are you? Oh, he's a klepto. I forgot about that swimming with the butler why don't you come over here and you can go buy that personality adjuster thing you're still sleeping at least learned that Catherine is unemployed well I would hope so if she's a student okay let's follow him over there we'll have him get it I still haven't been to Vlarg's Tavern. I should go there. You could put these things in any lot that you want to. If you just go edit the lot. Um, I actually thought about putting one over at the grocery store. Because <laughs> we go over there so much for lottery tickets. Okay, come over here and buy. It really is nice just to transport over there and not have to worry about anything. What are you scared of? <laughs> okay, so that made him terrorized. <laughs> uh, it says, Kirk is starting to freak out with terror. He can only hope his greatest fears don't come true. Oh, so they gave her a cash prize for exercising. Okay. Um, let's see, we were going to get her the... Potent Personality Adjuster. Um, oh, and I took the bees out of the backyard because the butler kept going over and evidently doing it wrong. And he uh, was doing it over and over again. So I finally just got rid of them because it was not worth it. <laughs> if we need honey, we'll go buy it. And actually, you can buy honey in the little cart that's out in the yard. Oh, which one did I tell him to do? I don't remember now. You could wait and stay here after 7 and steal cars. Could have you do that. Could get these butterflies. Yeah, let's leave you over there for a little bit. And after dark, we'll send you out and have you steal something. I haven't done that in ages. Um, I have have... Oh, look! The money tree! <gasps> Yay! And it'll start um, spitting out seeds also and you can plant the seeds and have multiple money trees. That's so good. So we should be starting to get money bags. Now that we have a million simoleons, we finally get a money tree. <laughs> that just figures. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to give this to her. Yeah, let's give that to her. And then when she gets home, we'll have her drink it. Where are you? Oh. Oh, that's right. I did have him pick some flowers. I figured he's a little kid. It won't hurt. And, of course, if you don't sell them right away, they uh, lose value. So, I figured if they're in our yard, we can go ahead and get them. Catch those butterflies. I did have him go over to the science center because... Um, she had found a butterfly that was worth a whole bunch of money. A rainbow butterfly or something like that. Let's give this to your mom. Or grandmother. <laughs> She's your grandmother. She just looks young. Okay, so let's see. Let's look as far as... Can we read that one? No. Can we read this one? No. Can we read this one? Yes. Oh, now we could make that ourselves. The potent personality adjuster recipe book. 
Well, we're impatient. It's not like we can't afford the 400 simoleons. Um, what do you want to do? Oh, let's see. Can you learn this yet? No. Can you learn this yet? No. And you know, I was having her learn the guitar all this time so that she could go play in the subways. And then I realized, oh, we're in a different town that doesn't have subways. Although I could put them in, which I should do. Uh, let's have her listen to guitar. Give this to her. So yeah, I could could go put in some um, subways. Kirk's an invitation to oh, Agnes Crumplebottom. We could go to that party. That would be fun, theoretically. What is your problem, Holly Alto? This flower's worth 400. Did you do your homework? No. Do your homework. Are you home yet? No. You'll be home uh, shortly though. Okay. She got school performance for that. Okay. Alright, so she did... I don't know what that money was. Uh, she needs to do three more elixirs. So come over here. Let's um, mix an elixir. Okay. Oh, it's because we sold stuff at the consignment store. Okay. Oh, our money's got down. We're less than some millionaires. Flask of Sleep. I don't know. I wish they had a pop-up that told you what they do here. Um, I think it, oh, I think it makes somebody go to sleep. Could turn somebody into a zombie. File of Potent Bliss. Skill Booster. Essence of Magic, I think, is if you turned yourself from being a witch, you could turn yourself back into being a witch. Flask of Potent Sleep. Potent Invigorating Elixir. That's what we want to do. Okay, come over here so we can see you. And then we're going to have you drink this. And see which uh, traits you get. Oh, I should sell this. Alright, so right now she's unlucky, genius, perceptive, and coward. Let's drink this. No sense of humor, great kisser, natural cook, and evil. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know that that's any better, but now we can have Bone, Hil Bone Hilda, and we can fire the dude, because he costs us money. Not that we can't afford it. Actually, I wonder if when we get Bone Hilda, if he quits, because last time I think he did. I could have been imagining things, but... Um... Vial of Potent Enlightenment. Why not? Can we fire this guy? Fire. I don't know what the difference is between fire and dismiss. <coughs> okay, Bone Hilda is free. We already well, we already paid for her, so but she's just a one-time fee. <laughs> See how she just looked at him? Okay, get out, Terrell. <laughs> we don't like you, Terrell. You're no Dave. You're a Dave wannabe. Get out. <laughs> he really hardly ever does anything. From what I can tell. And I hate this stupid imaginary friend. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, let's see. Procreation elixir. I wonder what that one does. Probably makes you have more babies. Jar of potent friendship. I guess the... We'll do the potent enlightenment one again. Alright. Oh, look, she cleared out all her wishes. 
Okay, so you can play with magic for a little bit. Actually, conjure some apples and we'll turn them into things. Okay, the party starts in one hour. Kirk, do you have the... Uh, oh, he needs to use the bathroom and sleep. Darn. Sorry, we're not going to be able to go. I didn't prepare for a party. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this here. I'm going to continue to work on her magic. Um, obviously, the earning money portion of this Let's Play is over because we reached our, finally reached our simoleonaire goal. We are simoleonaires. And um, what I'll do before the next ex uh, episode is I'll just keep working on her magic and I'll turn um, Elise into a witch. Oh, she didn't do the file of Putin Enlightenment. All right. Um, I'll turn Elise into a witch and then when he ages up into an adult, when Daniel becomes an adult, I'll turn him into a werewolf. So I will see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Have a great day and keep on simming. Bye.